What's up guys, Dylan here, and today I wanted to bring you the quick topic of Christmas cards. So, in this video we'll pretty much break down who we send these to, where we order them from, and which clients we send gift cards, and I'll also talk about the financials. So, let's jump into it. So first and foremost, we actually purchase a card and envelope to send to every single existing client. So whether they did business with us three days ago or three years ago, it doesn't matter. This is just a great way to stay fresh in their mind as well as just a kind gesture around the holidays. Secondly, as far as gift cards go, we do like to get all of our new clients for this last calendar year a gift card. And if you do have any clients that you do a lot of business with, I suggest just getting them one every single year. But again, this is just a small token of our appreciation and it's usually really well received and they will definitely keep you in mind for future work as well as referrals. And trust me, as they're sipping on that little bit of Starbucks coffee, they're going to be thinking about you and your business. So as far as where to actually find these cards from guys, we source our card and envelope both from Canva.com. And the reason I like Canva is they have a ton of stock templates. That's actually what we used. This whole background was a stock image and then we just put a picture of us on there. I think that's important guys. It kind of adds a personal touch. And we also bought cheap Santa hats from Dollar Tree. I think they were like $1.25 each, just to be a little bit festive. And then of course, thank them for supporting your small business this year and just sign it at the very bottom. Last but not least guys, let's talk about the financial side of things. So. This is gonna vary business to business. I'll just go over our exact numbers. We have right under 100 new and existing clients. We've been in business for about a year and a half. And so we went ahead and ordered 100 of these envelopes and 100 of the cards in the best quality that Canva had available. So it's a higher weight material as well as a more glossy finish. So that came out roughly to $1 per set. And then we figured 50 cents per each stamp. So that's right around $150 for us to send out 100 cards. Plus, we added 70 new clients in 2022. So $5 Starbucks gift card times 70 people, $350. So add all that up and we come to a grand total of $500 to send out Christmas cards to all new and existing clients. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Dylan, this sounds crazy. That's a lot of money to be spending on something as silly as Christmas cards, but this is going to provide you with ROI in a couple different ways. First of all, directly, so you're gonna generate a couple conversations from this, maybe leads for springtime washing, at least here in Indiana where we can't wash through December and January. But it's also going to provide free goodwill to your customer. And there's been a ton of sales psychology studies on this. If you give away something for free before ever making an ask for something in return, you're much, much more likely to close. They're gonna be more receptive to what you have to offer. So you're kind of playing the long-term game with this as well. And that's gonna power up your future marketing efforts. So I hope you guys learned something from this video and I hope you can apply this to your own business. Let me know how it works out for you in the comments or what you think about our strategy. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comments below. Thanks for watching.